Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an easy animated text. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. I like to choose blue or green. This is easy to key out. So you're not going to choose paper like white or black. Then you're going to need a utensil. In this case, I used a piece of chalk. You could use paint, a pen, markers, whatever you want to use. With this utensil, you're going to write out your title on the piece of paper. What you're going to want to do is write this title out two more times. That way you have a total of three written text. This is so you can create an animation that flows well. Once you're done with creating the title three times, what you're going to want to do is scan this piece of paper or take a picture of it and get it digital to your computer. Now that your paper is uploaded to your computer, what you're going to want to do is drag it onto your timeline and reposition so the words are straight. What you're going to want to do next is find your ultra key effect in your effect panel. Once you do that, what you're going to want to do is select the eyedropper and select the color you want to key out. In this case, I have blue. If your color didn't key out correctly, what you can do is go into the settings and mess around with them. I like to change the pedestal. What you're going to want to do is chop up your paper scan into three individual parts, each of them lasting for two frames. Now what you're going to want to do is mask out a singular part of the text. So each title you created, you're going to mask it out individually. What you're going to want to do now is reposition each title so they're over top of each other. I like to do this by dragging the frames on top of each other. Once they're on top of each other, I like to mess around with the scale and position so they fit over top of each other. You're not going to get this perfect, but get it somewhat close. Once you position the titles over top of each other, you're going to want to drag your clips back to where they were originally. Once you do this, you're going to see the animation, but it does not last very long. So what you're going to want to do is duplicate those clips and add them to the end of the first beginning sequence. Once you do this, you can duplicate it again and again for however long you want. So I duplicated the text so it fits the whole clip. After that, you could play it through and see your animation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my content, check out my new video talking about how to make more as a creative.